Hey, I haven't done a live for 150 years. <laughs> anyway, so you're wearing my brand new uh, Texas Longhorn sweatshirt waiting for uh, football games to start. I'm going to watch San Francisco game and then on the big TV I'm going to watch, of course, my Falcons. So I just wanted to send a shout out and also to remind everybody that digital friends are real friends. Um, I had the courage to come on Facebook when I was watching Reliable Sources way back when, when Howard Kurtz was hosting that show. And there was a comment in one of his Facebook feeds from a woman uh, over uh, in the East Coast in New England. And her name was Kathleen Mitchell. And she is such a pistol. I just fell in love with her just through uh, seeing some of her pace, Facebook posts and whatnot. And through her, I met Christopher Powalski, who is an onion farmer in, in upper New York State. And, you know, he's brought so much fun and, uh, you know, life into my feed. And, you know, I just want to give a shout out to some. I, I mean, there are so many. There are so many people. <clears throat> um, Catherine Ross. I mean, Cassandra is... You know, we've been we've been on connected for almost as long as the other two, and uh, she's just been a breath of fresh air as well. And then Tanya McKenzie, who I met on Twitter, Twitter Spaces. Uh, Rob Domondo reached out to we both work with Stan Fischler, and he reached out to me on Facebook messages, and that's how we start a connection. And we actually met in person uh, several times. And of course, we talk to each other a lot. So. Um, who else? Joanna Catherine, such a lovely lady, and uh, her husband is a headbanger, so, you know, got like that. And L Linda Davis, I met through um, Victoria Pahalik, who I met on Pinterest, because I had posted a, a Pinterest board about my um, paternal homeland in Sharkta, Talked of Ukraine. Of course, it's been many, many uh, countries over the course of time. But uh, so that has been quite, you know, that's hit my heart a lot. And then Mitch Jackson, who um, is a California lawyer, and uh, my God, he literally owns the digital space. But he and I met with uh, several other people, like my, the three women I used to um, live cast with. In Miami, so we all met on Spreecast, and we've all stayed connected. And and um, and then I've got to give a shout out to two people I met on Threads, who we brought the conversation over here. And Heather Marshall Lyon, Oilers fan, met her through the Oilers Threads, and also Andrea Schwab, who we've met a couple times in person as well when he's brought his wife down to Calgary for. Uh, for speaking. So, yeah, so I have to, the, the bottom line is sometimes you meet people in these spaces and there are people on the other side of the profile. Well, sometimes they're bots, but you can block those. Um, and I was thinking about it this morning because I still have Gus Thorson's obituary on my fridge trying not to cry. I'm having a hard time processing losing him because we used to literally communicate in this space every day. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and I say that of the friends that I've got in this Facebook feed, there is a good portion of them that aren't here anymore. And they just haven't, you know, closed their profiles down. Their families haven't closed their profiles, which is fine. Because some of them leave them up to for a memorial. But... In thinking of that, you know, because I'm losing, like, real-life friends a lot, you know, as you get older, and they're all all ages, like, I think Gus. Gus and I were the same age. And um, so we're losing friends in real life as we get older. So that makes a digital um, 
space even more important if you're managing it right like your own your space is only as good as the people in your feed so so don't follow people who are shit and i must say sorry my nose is ready i must say that um in uh um in the digital space there are some people who are really close friends friends i love so much that i would lay down my life for that i've had to block because, you know, of all the shit that's been going down in the last few years, which is amplified lately. But there's, hold those digital, you know, hold those digital relationships close because someday they may be the only ones you have. So when people in your, your immediate life are kind of disappearing. My father used to go to funerals like every single week and you know it was really hard for him it was really hard for him because you know every time he had to go to a funeral it really hit him hard and and it come to the point like when he died he really there wasn't really very many of his friends left so um so so enjoy these spaces and make friends and um that's my you know because i really cherish the people that are in my spaces and i vet them all like once they say something shitty you know i either block them or mute them and if they come in my feeds and start trolling then i really block them but control who comes into your space because you know you know your psyche is important so anyway it's getting close to game time so I just thought I'd say shout out to my Facebook friends and in particular because I was thinking about this this morning that probably, I don't know how many, but there's a good portion of the people that are in my friends list that are probably gone now. So, um, but that's, you know, that's life and yeah. So, but I'm really grateful for the people I met on this platform, who I met on Threads, who I met on Pinterest, who I met in all these other platforms. And back in when Cynthia, Tanya, and Susie and I were were in broadcasting with social chats, there weren't very many people. We were like at the cusp of, of live streaming. There wasn't, you know, there wasn't a... A lot of platforms back in the Spreecast, Spreecast was a wonderful platform, but it was really remarkable how it felt like you were across the table from somebody when you live stream and you could get to really know people really well. And we used to, even when we weren't on air, we would probably meet up every week a couple times. So it was really, I mean, it, I haven't met them in person, but it feels like I know them better than some of the people I know in person. So anyway, I'm rambling, but I'm going. I haven't done a live stream for a while, so I thought I'd say hi. And uh, I live on TikTok and threads mostly. Um, I try to post. I mean, I do post a lot sometimes on Facebook, but um, if you don't, you know, if I try to post once a day because somebody once told me that if I don't post here, then they're going to have to call do a wellness check <laughs> but I, li I literally live on TikTok and uh, threads so uh, anyway but right now I'm going to be living on uh, NFL football so go Falcons